my beautiful, lovely people. Mm. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Masha and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get rid of hair brassiness and keep your hair nice and shiny without this yellow unwanted undertone. So if you're curious, just stay with me and let's get started. First of all, of course, let's start from my hair. I have an air touch. It's some fancy Russian technique, which is done. I'm not sure how it's done, but the thing is like the, the blowing of the hair out and the rest, uh, there will be just uh, bleaching lighting. I absolutely love the result once I get this fresh and nice air touch, but weeks after I start getting this yellow undertones and my hair becomes this yellow. I hate yellow hair. It's just incredible how I hate them. And to maintain my blonde, I use a purple shampoo, uh, which is probably not a secret because everybody who is blonde, they should know that they have to use a purple shampoo to maintain and to get rid of hair brassiness, yellow undertone. I was blonde since I remember myself and I have tons of experience and that's why I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions here. And then in the end of the video, I'm going to show you the result. I'm going to split my hair into two parts and then apply purple shampoo to the one part of my hair and leave the other one as is. And I'm going to show you the result, guys. You will see the difference. But now you see my hair is pretty much like after three or four weeks after my hair was done. And that's how they look like. I see definitely yellow undertones and brassiness and all these beautiful things that I hate. Why does blonde turn yellow or brassy? The main reason it happens because blonde hair is incredibly porous and it soaks up everything including the when you go to the shower the minerals in the water and you go to the swimming pool the sun exposure to the air pollutants or to even the products that you use and also the second reason it might be when you went to the salon just the toner that your hairstylist applied, it just washes out and reveal this yellow undertones. Does a purple shampoo actually work? Yes, it does. The reason it works is because it has this violet or uh, purple undertone, which is opposite to the yellow undertone and when you apply it to your hair, your hair soaks up that purple or violet um, shades which neutralizes this yellow undertone of your hair and help to boost uh, your hair to the lighter side or maybe to the cooler side to this platinum blonde hair. If you look at the color wheel you'll see that right opposite to yellow is violet or purple color which means that purple will neutralize yellow undertone. How often should I use a purple shampoo? Whenever you see this brassiness in your hair you can use it. If you wash your hair every day I would use a purple shampoo only once in two weeks every two weeks. Keep in mind that purple shampoo does not replace your regular shampoo because there is such a thing as too much purple. If you use it every day, it will be, your hair will become gray or it might have the purple undertone. It depends on the shampoo that you use. But I personally don't mind my hair to look grayish or darker because I like this grayish effect that purple shampoo leaves on my hair and if I want to achieve this grayish look, I just use it often or I leave it longer. About leaving, how long can you leave purple shampoo on your hair? It should be based directly on the purple shampoo you're using. Just read instructions on the bottle right behind. But from my experience, if it says to keep it for five minutes, I will keep it until I'm done uh, in my shower and then I'm gonna rinse it off, apply conditioner, leave it, rinse it off again. If I keep it longer than five minutes, it will be 15 minutes, let's say. I will be able to see this grayish undertone of my hair and sometimes that's what I want to achieve and I do it in purpose which drives crazy my hairstylist and she tells me always why you apply a purple shampoo stop using it for so long your hair becomes so uh, gray I can't do anything with that uh, but I love it yeah 
for, for that, if you apply it longer, it will turn your hair gray a little bit, but after some time you wash it with a regular shampoo, it will fade very, very soon. After a week, you will no longer see any gray uh, undertone of your hair. I know what I'm talking about because I do it often. If I find some pictures with my gray hair, you guys can tell this is only done with a purple shampoo. I'll link them somewhere here so you can check it out. Next question, is purple shampoo permanent? Of course not! Nothing is permanent on blonde hair. Everything washes out from blonde hair, even blonde washes out from blonde hair. Yeah, that's the truth and nothing is permanent on blonde hair nothing and even if you apply too much or you apply too often or you leave it longer this violet or purple pigment can color your hair or and give this uh, violet or maybe grayish undertone it will fade after a week if you wash it with a regular shampoo and your hair will become normal why my purple shampoo is not working first of all there is a difference in the strength of purple shampoos some are barely touch your hair when it comes to toning others are strong enough to even color your, the palms of your hands when you wash your hair i personally like the second one because i really love to see the result other than just believe in the result or feel this result and the second reason for lightened blonde hair the underlying pigment is yellow and if you lightened your hair from brunette or black hair then your hair will have this orangey or red undertones purple shampoo does not solve this problem there is such a thing as a blue shampoo the reason why blue shampoo will work in this case is because again blue is next to the orange on the color wheel which is neutralizing orangey or red undertones. Sometimes blue shampoo is not strong enough to eliminate this orangey hues of your hair and if it doesn't work it's still worth to try but if it doesn't work then I would recommend you to go to your hairstylist and then ask them to work on your hair to get rid of this uh, orangey or red undertones of your hair. But I found out about blue shampoo when I dyed my hair gray initially at some time and then I started noticing some orangey undertones of my hair and then I went to my hairstylist she said oh maybe you can try blue shampoo instead I found a blue shampoo I don't remember which one I was using at that time but I'll try to find some and then I'll link them somewhere here guys so you can use them look cooking look cooking Juliet King can I even use a purple shampoo on my brown hair what does purple shampoo do on the brown hair? The answer is nothing. It doesn't do anything on your brown hair. It's not gonna help on the brunette because if you want to get rid of brassiness again or make your hair lighter a little bit, then I would recommend again to try blue shampoo. Can I use a purple shampoo on my natural hair color? Purple shampoo will work best on colored hair, of course. From my experience, when I use a purple shampoo on my very, very light hair color here on the roots, it doesn't do anything to them. It doesn't color them. It doesn't give this uh, violet undertones. It doesn't do anything. Maybe it just makes the hair a little bit darker. Yes, um, that's it. How to use a purple shampoo. That's what I'm going to show you guys. And for this purpose, I'm going to use this Fenola No Yellow Shampoo. It's made in Italy. This video is not sponsored by Fenola. These guys don't even know that I'm filming this video, but if you guys do, then text me. Favorite purple shampoo ever. And the reason why is that is that that strong. You can even see that. Your palm will, tur uh, will turn. I'm gonna read this for you guys. This is no yellow shampoo ideal for gray super lightened or decolored hair It's violet pigment tones down on un unwanted yellow uh, Hues or gray light blonde or streaked hair apply to wet hair massage leave on for one to five minutes Can you believe you can leave it only for one minute? It's really strong hair and rinse off repeat if necessary um, It's not necessary I only apply it once and then I rinse it off. I'm gonna go make my hair wet and I'll be back. Alright guys, and I'm back. So I made my hair wet. As you can tell, washing hair twice a day 
It's such an amazing thing. Now I'm gonna just uh, split my hair into parts really quick. So I'm gonna put this one like that out of the way. I'm gonna try it really, really careful because I'm sitting on the white chair. Everything away is white around me. So I put this amount of product and then I'm gonna apply it. Of course, I'm. See, look at that. The color is so, so bright already, you guys. And I'm gonna apply it even. Since this is shampoo, you're supposed to make it work. Yeah, I'm gonna just distribute this product through my my hair and you already see how my hair turns cooler on the tone. I'm gonna add a little bit more so just to because I have some hair on the back that I have to color too. Don't forget your roots everywhere. <laughs> Hope you guys can see. If not, then I don't know what to do. Then so right here. It's so hard when you're not in the shower, guys. It's oh no. Get out. Get out. Purple. Okay. So I think it should be pretty much everywhere. I I believe so. I'm not sure, but. I tried my best and this is now how it looks. Of course this is shampoo. I forgot to take my my hair tie so I went to get it in the bedroom. So this is how it looks. Oh my god, don't touch it, don't touch it. So this is how it looks right now. And my hands look like this too. They're purple. I hope you can see. So you can see how purple it is right now. And I'm gonna wait for five minutes, okay? So I'm gonna rinse my hair out and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, the result. I'm gonna wash it out and then I'll be back. So I'm gonna wait for five minutes and uh, I just wanted to show you guys what happened to my, to my ha uh, hands and my nails. <laughs> I hope you can see, it's crazy. If you don't see, I'm gonna take a picture and then I'm gonna link it somewhere here but of course when you go to the sh when you go to shower and wash it like a, and you take a shower like a normal person you won't see this uh, dramatic situation and uh, everything will be fine but now my my hands and my nails they are purple um, smell pretty good not bad I'm like a dead person but yeah three minutes left and then I'm gonna go rinse it out, apply a conditioner, blow dry my hair, and uh, I'm gonna show you the result comparison uh, side by side. I'll see you soon. And I'm back to show you the result. Just to remind, this uh, part was purple and this was not. I just washed it with a regular shampoo and for this one I just washed it with purple shampoo. Then I applied a conditioner. This part that I applied uh, purple it has less yellow undertone. Of course, it was not really convenient to apply it and I'm pretty sure that I missed some uh, part of my, my hair. It became shiny, light, and it has this cooler kind of undertone comparing to this part. This part is yellow, um, has this brassiness, unwanted yellow undertones in my hair and um, I can see the difference. I hope you can see the difference too. Uh, also, I just wanted to mention about my natural hair color. This is my natural hair color on my roots. Back to the question of what purple shampoo does to the natural hair color. It doesn't do anything. Usually when I leave it longer, it creates this uh, grayish or violet um, shade 
In this video, I'm not going to achieve the uh, grayish undertone. I just wanted to show you guys how purple shampoo eliminates yellow undertone and removes brassiness of the blonde hair. And that's all, guys. And I hope you liked my video and I was able to answer uh, how to get rid of the uh, brassiness of your hair and remove this unwanted yellow undertones. If I did not answer any other questions that you guys have, leave me comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Also share this video with your uh, blonde angels, with your friends. Follow me on Instagram, it's MashaBeauty1. Also I have a popular video on my channel, it's about Olaplex, also about hair care. If you're curious how I maintain my uh, hair healthy and shiny, watch that video too. I'll leave it in the end of this video but i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next videos bye questions regarding my hair or you have some questions how to use purple shampoo or how to uh, why like any any other questions leave the comments below and or uh, DM me in Instagram I'll link it somewhere here or even text me up to my email I'll be happy to talk to you guys and to answer any questions that you have mm -hmm.